The informational particles that shape Project M's world can transform reality based on your choices. And each choice you make will change your experience. The information that exists in the present reality determines how the world will unfold. Value every encounter and every moment. These will be essential in the world of Project M. This is where our journey ends for now. I look forward to seeing you all again soon.
奇迹，旗下就有啊。那你为什么要寻找奇迹？想要接触奇迹，必须成为归墟梦魇的冠军才行。所以你的第一步就是加入稷下学院。欢迎来到稷下，在这里，你将遇到各种生灵幻圣，探索奇景遗迹，有无数场冒险等待着你。这里还有我一定要找到的东西，是吗？我也一样。你运用流的方式很特别，难怪东方要那么看好你。也许你能成为解决这次危机的关键。时间。这里残留着极其强大的魔道能量，好像就是东方药在调查的那个。他也被侵蚀了吗？全哥学长，也许这才是他追求的极致美学。生命绽放于战场，璀璨就在你眼前。容我为你展示极致的机关之美。让我们开始游戏吧。
What's your plan? Knowing you have only 66 days to live. Just run away. It won't make any difference at the end of the day. You know better than anyone else. That no one could escape. What's your plan? Knowing you have only 66 days to live. We've been developing Rooted for over a year now. It's a post-apocalyptic survival experience that you can enjoy both solo and multiplayer with the co-op mod available day one from the Alpha. Inspired by a bleak future for our civilization, we are creating a world that is the result of a rise in violence, government repression, wars over the next 60 years, and where, in just a few weeks, the world population has been wiped out due to the use of bacteriological weapons of mass destruction. We aim to offer a truly rich environment with points of interest that tell the story of Rooted. Located halfway between a solo narrative game and an open world PvP, the oppressive atmosphere of the remnants of the old world and the former civilization is at the heart of the game. You'll need to explore this world to ensure your survival, develop your skills to improve your equipment and access still infected areas. All the remains of the past civilization will allow you to equip yourself, secure yourself, but also to fight. Enemies will attack you because they want your resources, your flesh, or simply because they are programmed to. Simple, the Alpha is not at all representative of the final result of the game. 
We offer it this early out of respect for the founders who founded the game via Kickstarter and our website and to get feedback as quickly as possible on the core features of the game in order to have the most stable foundations uh, possible for the future. As we continue to focus on the quality experience, we've been working closely with our art teams, and it's been exciting to see their environments come to life alongside us. The story of Squadron 42 takes you through a variety of diverse locations of varying scales and styles. We shared glimpses of several environments before, and there's still plenty out there for you to discover. One of the main challenges the art team has had to face during the development of Squadron 42 is ensuring the visuals are complementary to the narrative of the script. The mood and feeling of a space is just as important to us as it is making sure we hit the visual quality that CIG has become known for. No oh good, we can't hack it from this side. Graves, we've got a locked door. Can you give us access? No, I'm afraid that's a negative, Steve. Uh... I would have to add you to our system to give you override permissions, and uh, yeah, there's a lot involved in that. It won't happen quickly. Okay, we'll figure something out. Everything you see during the campaign has been heavily inspired by the classics of 70s and 80s sci-fi, but with a modern twist. We want everything you see to feel like it has a soul, its own personality, and tells of a history long before you arrived. Crafting interesting flight spaces and their connecting tissue has been one of the more unique challenges we've needed to overcome for Squadron. Developing our VDB tech to blend seamlessly between tighter traversal spaces and into wider space vistas and planets has proved incredibly difficult but rewarding ensuring that Squadron flows seamlessly from one chapter to the next, without interruption. Creating a diverse array of locations is essential to us. Our environments need to work from a variety of scales. We need to pay close attention to detail, whether we're working in a dirty engineering vent, or navigating the debris of a dying star, wondering what may be around that next corner, or even who may live there. How would they have survived? and what state of mind may they be in. With the aim now on polish, we've organized the project into self-sufficient strike teams so we can focus on individual areas to deliver the best experience. FPS radar and scanner that provide you an overview of the battlefield, but at the cost of ramping up your own emissions. We've also seen the introduction of our Maelstrom-powered destructible environment, which adds a layer of dynamism to the experience alongside our improved AI that can now have hundreds of combinations of traits that allow us to create unique and challenging combat encounters that really push your tactical awareness and skill.
One of the best tactical shooter experience there is at the moment and probably one of the best ever ready or not is finally getting extremely close to its official 1.0 release. This is a really big milestone for the team and with each update that goes into the game they keep hyping this 1.0 release as it will bring what the fans wanted for so long and will also bring the game into a new era where it will probably be the absolute best time to check it out. Ready or not will finally be into its next level of brutal with new maps set to bring shocking and controversial elements including a school shooting map, a streamer raid map, a Richmond house on the coastline with beautiful enhanced graphics, a destruction system that's in the planning phase with destructible vehicles and more. I'm not talking about months and months until it officially releases, with a ton of gameplay features, maps, weapons, NPCs and so on. No, they're planning on releasing it this fall 2023, which is pretty close. We're gonna get into these very exciting details right now. Okay, so if you have played ready or not already, you're already know how great this tactical experience already is. It's already worth playing and better than many many early access games out there. There is no denying that. First of all, they plan on adding a really cool in-game feature probably coming with this 1.0 release, which is the police trailer units. As well as hearing in-game radio communication with them, there will be a new addition of a physical police trailer AI unit that's intended to increase immersion at the end of a mission. The name trailer refers to the fact that these units safely trail behind the actions of the tactical team, avoiding tactical interference while providing auxiliary support. These police trailer units arrive to physically extract secured civilians and suspects to safety after you clear a level, removing them from the scene, which is actually awesome. You won't just detain or put a civilian on the ground. Now they will be extracted out of the map to safety. They're making huge improvements to the fidelity of visual effects, but they are also optimizing their related system so that they run as efficiently as possible. Among just a few of the VFX improvements that they've worked on are muzzle flare, explosive effects, new vehicles, and increased details of the already existing vehicle destruction, and adding more destruction into it. The single player campaign and narrative, oh man does it sound amazing. The main focal point of this briefing is what's known as Commander Mode, the name of the new campaign mode that brings with it countless new immersive features. In Los Suenos, which is the game city, how you enter the fatal tunnel of each door will seal your fate and that of those around you it is said. Some of the elements from Commander Mode are the progressive mission unlocks, permadeath, roster system, behavioral threats, official therapy and HQ expansion and functionality, progress on the narrative techniques such as briefing messages, on-call officers, interactive auto device storytelling and many many gameplay features that are new.
可执意要起，别离开之火。这把剑，我本不想沾血。仍未终了，而戏中之人早已不止你我。Shots fired!
is Oscar. <laughs>